Nvidia just dropped a monster of a model that's smaller than DeepSeek R1, but still beats it in most tasks. Yep, even with half the size, it can flip between shallow and deep reasoning like a switch, and it runs on just one setup of 8H100 GPUs. This thing is open source, crazy efficient, and packed with new tricks you'll actually want to try out. Alright, so this new model is built around Meta's older Llama 3.1405B Instruct model, which was already known for pretty robust performance and reasoning and instruction. Following tasks, the team at NVIDIA did something pretty unique. They used a technique called Neural Architecture Search, or NAS, to pick and choose which parts of Llama's architecture to keep, skip, or fuse together. Some blocks of the network skip attention entirely, or compress feed-forward layers, and others fuse multiple feed-forward networks into bigger, more efficient ones. It's all about optimizing memory usage, and the end result is a model that you can run on a single eight times. H100 node, or even on systems rocking NVIDIA's B100 or Hopper architectures with BF16 or FP8. Precision is honestly impressive that something so large, 253 billion parameters to be exact, can be whipped into shape so that it doesn't break the bank on hardware resources. Now one of the coolest features is this built-in reasoning on and reasoning off mode. If you're dealing with complex tasks like detailed math or code generation or advanced Q&A, you can switch it to reasoning on and the model will tap into its deeper chain of thought processes processes. If you need simpler outputs like short instructions or quick answers, you toggle reasoning off. NVIDIA wants to give developers that fine-grained control. They've even tested the toggling feature on all kinds of tasks, for instance. The model absolutely crushed it on the math 500 benchmark, going from 80.4% accuracy in reasoning off mode to a whopping 97.0% in reasoning on another big improvement is in a IME25, which jumped from 16.67% to 72.0%. 0.5% with reasoning enabled. That's a pretty significant leap, and it shows you how important that special reasoning feature can be. They also tested something called Live Code Bench, which is basically all about generating correct code. The difference was night and day from 29.03%, pass at 1 up to 66.31%. And it's not just code tasks. Another test, GPQA, which is a general question answering challenge, soared from around 56.6% in reasoning off to 76.01% when reasoning on in side by side comparisons with DeepSeek. R1, a state of the art mixture of experts model that has a massive 671 billion parameters. The new Enron Ultra manages to beat it on tasks like GPQA and if eval instruction following. Even in code generation, it slightly edges out DeepSec R1. However, the math tests are kind of a mixed bag. Enron Ultra is not quite at the top on the trickiest math benchmark. For example, on the AIME25 test, it got 72.5%, while DeepSec R1 hit around 79.8%. And Math 500 is really close between the two, but Deep Seek still narrowly tops it with 97.3% compared to Nephron's 97.0%. It's basically a game of trade-offs. Still considering that Enron has fewer parameters, it's pretty amazing. Now, Nvidia has been keen on telling everyone that it's fully open source with commercial licensing. They're releasing it under something called the Nvidia Open Model License, but it also falls under the Llama 3.1 Community License Agreement since it's built on top of Meta's Llama. Either way, you can actually grab the open weights and even the post-training data on Hugging Face. And yeah, it's ready for commercial use. Meaning that if you're a developer who wants to deploy an AI assistant or chatbot or some advanced tool that uses retrieval, augmented generation, you can legally do it. NVIDIA is also telling folks to do their own alignment checks and safety evaluations as usual because these powerful models can sometimes produce outputs you don't expect or might not want. So how exactly did they get to this level of performance? It's not just the architecture search. NVIDIA also ran a multi-phase post-training pipeline. That pipeline started with supervised fine-tuning on tasks like math code generation chat and tool use. Then they did a round of reinforcement learning with something called group relative policy optimization. Great poly for short to hone instruction. Following on top of that, they used knowledge distillation for 65 billion tokens and then continued pre-training on another 88 billion tokens. They named drop data sets like Fine Web Buzz, V1.2, and Doma Plus a bunch of synthetic data. The synthetic data, by the way, is used to train the model on how to handle these reasoning on and reasoning off modes in real scenarios. Nvidia says they combined public RA with machine-generated prompts, so it's basically 
basically a big blend. Another interesting detail is that the model's maximum sequence length is up to 128,000 tokens, or 130,172 tokens to be super precise in some references. That's huge, especially when you consider typical context used to be more like 4K or 8K tokens. The ability to handle extremely long inputs is especially handy for chatbots that need to remember extended back and forth conversations, or for analyzing extensive documents, and let's be real, long context windows can be game changers for folks who want to feed entire sets of text data or lengthy code repositories for debugging and summarization. If you're a developer, hooking into Neuron Ultra is pretty straightforward. If you're used to hugging Face Transformer, NVIDIA suggests version 4.48. 3. Setting up your pipeline in Python and controlling the reasoning on and reasoning off modes with a little system prompt that says, detailed thinking on, or detailed thinking off for reasoning on, they recommend a temperature of 0.6 and top underscore P of 0.95, which basically introduces some creativity for reasoning off. They say try setting it to greedy. Decoding or temperature equals zero, that means your outputs will be more deterministic. All the code you need is shown in their examples, and they've also put out instructions for using VLLM, so you can serve up an API for your apps. Just set up the server with the model name, trust underscore remote underscore code, pick your device map, and you're off to the races. Now, if you're curious about real hardware performance, NVIDIA tested it on 8H 180GB chips in BF16 Precision, or sometimes 4B100 chips. They even tried FP8 on 4H180GB cards. So you have multiple ways to run it, but obviously you need some serious GPU horsepower if you're gonna do large-scale inference. The main reason it's more economical than some even bigger models is that it uses less memory, thanks to skipping certain attention blocks and compressing feed-forward networks. It's also important to mention that they do vertical compression, so that even though the model is 253B, it's not as monstrous in memory usage as you might think. Let's talk about the additional technical stuff. The base model Llama 3.1405B Instruct was apparently trained up until 2023, so any knowledge after that might be limited unless it's captured during the post-training data that took place up to 2025.